I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it. Donald Trump has declared that he does not want to be the president of the whole country. He does not want to comfort a nation in grief to heal the wounds of racism. We at the Washington Post editorial board did not support Donald Trump for president. But when he was elected, we wrote, we hope we were wrong. Now it feels as though our worst fears are coming true. It feels as though Donald Trump chose to show us his worst true self after Charlottesville. A true self who thinks that Klansmen, Nazis, and white supremacists are no worse than the people who stand up to them. For a moment, he bowed to pressure and acted like a true leader of the United States. I just got off the phone with the governor of Virginia, Terry McAuliffe, and we agreed that the hate and the division must stop. He read a teleprompter to denounce racism and bigotry in a country where black men, women, and children were once sold as property. But he couldn't live with that. He thought about it, and he came out to defend racism again. But you had a lot of people in that group that were there to innocently protest. He chose to do that. It was his choice. Donald Trump made a conscious choice to make David Duke happy. He chose to make a former Klan leader happy and the 700 people who marched through Charlottesville, 700 people who were wearing swastikas and chanting, And now, the rest of us have to decide, how do we live with that? How do we live with a president? Define alt right to me, you define it. Who has made that choice. For people in government, I think that means don't leave as long as you feel you can still do your job honorably. We need you to keep our institutions strong. For Republican politicians, it means don't let this enabler of racism define you. For the people who voted for him, ask yourself, is this what you voted for? Don't let this racism sully your legitimate concerns and your legitimate points of view. For me, for the Washington Post, for the media, I think it means remembering that we don't have a monopoly on legitimate points of view. We have to still keep evaluating Trump's administration fairly, issue by issue. Americans may be divided on whether to take down a statue of General Lee, but we're pretty united that hatred, racism, and bigotry are bad and that a president should be able to condemn those things and that we don't want to go backward. So while this may be a sad time and a scary time, it's not a hopeless time.